Creating an About and Skills page. In this video, we'll be going over how to add an introduction or about page to your Google site, as well as a skills section. This will give an initial idea of how to add text, photos, and video to your portfolio and begin to format them. Start by clicking on your navigation tab called About. The portfolio template that we chose in the previous video already has a sample about page that you can easily fill with your own information or change to suit any vision you may have. On Google Sites, content is broken down into sections and subsections. When you hover over any section, a blue outline will appear. If you click on the highlighted section, it will become editable. We will begin by replacing the current photo with one of our own. Click the photo and a formatting bar will appear above it with the options to crop, uncrop, insert link, delete, and more editing options. Throughout this tutorial series, we will cover how to use each of these layout options. For now, we will be clicking on the three dots to see more editing options. Here you can replace image, add alt text, and add caption. Click Replace Image, and you can either upload an image from your computer or select an image. We're going to click on Upload Image and navigate to our folder with the photo set aside for the portfolio. Double click on the image you'd like to use, and it should appear in place of the previous photo. We've chosen an image that represents the work that our sample student does. If any important part of your image is cropped out, you can double click the image and drag the bar to zoom in or out as well as drag the image to include the focal point you would like. As we scroll down, we can see that Google Sites has provided some prompts as to what to include for your About section. They recommend leading with an impactful statement, followed by telling your site viewers about yourself. You can include a list of your skills, current job title, or future career goals. This is exactly what we'll do. Click on the heading and you can see all the text formatting options. The first drop-down is a list of the heading styles that come with your theme. The second drop-down is a list of fonts. You have access to all the Google fonts, but the fonts for your theme are listed first. Next, you have font size, then bold, italics, underline, text color, insert link, alignment, and delete. The final option is more. This option includes line and paragraph spacing, increase and decrease indent, strike through, and clear formatting. For this heading, we will keep it in the style that already exists, but throughout this series we will explore the text formatting options. Edit this heading to say whatever you'd like. For example, who am I? Get to know me? Or my story? We're sticking with a simple about me. Once you've done that, click the text box directly below and replace this text with the introductory paragraph from your outline. The font might change when you paste, so make sure to return it back to your theme's normal text font. Your intro paragraph should include a brief description of you and your abilities to provide some insight to the reader and entice them to scroll further. It is nice to have a pitch video at the beginning of your portfolio so you can market yourself in your own words and give an impression of who you are, even when you're not available in person. It also allows you to practice describing yourself in a concise way to prepare for any potential interview and networking scenarios. To learn how to make a great pitch video, take a look at our video series called Personal Pitch Videos. We're going to add our personal pitch video directly under this opening paragraph. To do this, we will click on Insert in the right menu bar. If your video is located on YouTube, scroll down and click YouTube. This will open a pop-up window where you can either search all of YouTube for a video or choose from one you've uploaded yourself. If your pitch video is on another site, like Vimeo, you can click the Embed option under the Insert tab and paste your HTML embed code. Or if you're just uploading the video from your computer, click Placeholder. These placeholders are perfect for figuring out the layout of the media on your page. A box with a plus sign will appear. If you click on this, the options that pop up are Upload, Select Image, From Drive, YouTube, calendar, and map. Once your video is uploaded, you can click and drag it to anywhere on the page. This can be done with any of your content at any time, so feel free to play around with the layout. The pre-made page has a section for your clients as well as for your work experience and education. Feel free to list some of your clients here, but we will have a separate page for testimonials. We will also have a separate page for education and experience, and instead we will replace it here with your skills section. 
To get rid of them, you can click on these sections and then click the garbage can icon. Next, click text box in the insert menu, then change the style to title. We're centering the text and calling the section skills. We will then create our skills section using collapsible groups. These are essentially text boxes that site viewers can click to expand. Collapsible text boxes can help condense large blocks of text, like lists or FAQ. This allows site viewers to quickly navigate to the most relevant information. In the insert menu, click Collapsible Groups. A blank group will appear on your page. We will title this first group Industry Skills and center align the text. Then click on the text box directly below, click bulleted list in the formatting bar, and paste the information from your outline. Make sure that your font is changed if necessary to match your theme. Repeat this process with soft skills. At any time, you can choose to permanently expand these collapsible groups by toggling off the switch that appears when the group is clicked on. At this point, your page content is complete, and you are free to play around with the layout to find something you are happy with. For example, I'd like my skill sections to be side by side. To do this, we will continue to explore the drag and drop features in Google Sites. Right now, these headings take up the entire width of the page. To fit them side by side, we will need to resize them. To do this, click on your text box and drag the blue dots that appear on either side until it reaches your desired size. In this case, we'll shrink them by about half. Then, making sure you have the whole group selected, hover over the top of the section. 10 small dots will appear, and your cursor will change to a move pointer. Click and drag your section until it is in your desired spot. Finally, we are going to add a divider between the About and Skills section. This is entirely optional, but it adds a bit of visual separation to distinguish the separate sections. To do this, go to the Insert menu and click Divider. A red line will appear on your page. Drag it between your two sections. Here's a preview of what your About and Skills page should look like when it's completed. To see yours, click the Preview button in the top menu bar. In the next video, we will create an Education and Experience page.